guys, it's Laura. Uh, I don't know if you've checked out my blog, but I'm on a temporary hiatus until school ends for me, which is June 4th. Um, or I get out on June 3rd, but I'll be back posting reviews of daily on June 4th because school is ending and I have finals and lots of other like crazy things going on. So I just need to focus on that for a week and then I'll be back and I'll have Sorry. thanks. It's okay. I'll have um I'll have more time to uh focus on my blog more since it's summer. But and I know this IMM is a day late. I'm usually posting these on Thursday, but it's Friday because Thursday was just a crazy night. I had practice and um so it just wasn't a good night for me to um film this and post it. But so this week I've got three new books. Oh, and I'm kind of switching it up here with the black and white because I just got my eyebrows done and I don't want you guys to see the redness. But um, also sorry for the crazy hair. It's been a really long day. Okay, so I went to San Diego for my brother's graduation from SDSU and they had like six different bookstores all over the place. It was awesome. Hello? Okay, so it was awesome, and I just had a lot of fun, and I went to the bookstores there, I went to Borders, and outside there, when I first walked in, they had a um, stand with YA books, like, on sale, so I picked up Waiting for You by Suzanne Colasante, and this was three ninety nine bargain price for the hardcover. I've heard great things about Susan Colasanti, and it seems like a really fun summer read, kind of romance. The only thing that's wrong with the book, really, is that it has some sun damage. You probably can't tell because the video is in black and white, but the top of the book is just a little bit yellow, but it's not a problem for me. And then, when I was inside, they also had a bargain thing, and I found Paper Towns by John Green. John Green has written some books that I've heard like, are absolutely breathtaking. John Green's a favorite author of many of my friends, so I haven't read a book by him yet, so I figured I'd pick up Paper Towns, and I actually got this for a dollar, even though it's marked for $3.99, because there's a little tear on the um, dust jacket, but not a problem to me, because it still reads the same. So, I'm excited to read this one. And then I got Island Girls and Boys by Rachel Hawthorne. This I picked up because it seems like an awesome summer read. And I actually already read it. I read it in like a day. I was sitting by the pool reading it and I just like loved it. And um, it was a great summer read. And this is about three friends who go to stay in um, the main character who's Jen. Jen. Jan whose name is Jen, and they go and stay in her grandparents' house while her grandparents are on a cruise or whoever they are, and they expect to have the summer together and just spend their last summer together before they're off to college, different colleges, um, but it doesn't turn out as planned, and it was an awesome book. Great summer read. So that's what I got. Oh, I also got some things from um, Simon & Schuster, the e galley, the galley gar bleh. The Galley Grab, it was a ebook thing. And I'll read off to you what I got. Oh, all Adobe Editions loads. Okay. I got The Day Before by Lisa Schroeder, which I already read. It's written in verse, so it's a really quick read. And it was amazing. I'll have the review of that up soon. I got All the Things You Are by Courtney Shine Mel. Um, I got Paradox, The Angels Are Here by Patty Roberts. Um, I didn't get this from Simon & Schuster. She actually contacted me and was wondering if I'd like to review her book. Um, I need to review, I need to read that pretty soon here, but it's another book I got. And then back to Simon, Simon & Schuster, I got Gone, Gone, Gone by Hannah Moskowitz, which comes, mo okay, I can't talk. Gone, Gone, Gone by Hannah Moskowitz, which, come, which comes out in April of 2012, so have it for a while. Um, Sometimes It Happens by Lauren Barnholt, and I'm currently reading this on my nook, and The Babysitter Murders by Janet Ruth Young. So those are all the great books I got this week. Um, feel free to post your links below. Also, I have a question. Um, I just kind of rearranged my room a little bit, and so I made room for some new books.
And I was wondering if you guys wanted to see a bookshelf tour, because I would be willing to do one. It's not in any way organized, but you can kind of just get a feel for the books that I have. And, um, yeah, so give me a comment below if you want to see a bookshelf tour, and I'll try to do that sometime really soon uh, when I have some free moments. Uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't checked out my blog, you should go do so. It's the coverreviews.blogspot.com. The link will be below and at the very end of this video. Okay, have a great Friday. Bye.